one of my most spiritual experiences had kind of happened later on in my mission. Um, we were going to a dinner appointment with a member and it was a brand new member from the ward and I didn't even know where she lived. I wasn't even sure if she was on our side or the elder side because our ward was divided. Um, and so we were at that point, we were in an area where we normally didn't, um, go to very often it was kind of like the the top of our area and so we were headed down to like the bottom and the member called and said that she was going to be about 45 minutes late and so i wasn't even sure like if we could like track by our house or um you know what we could really do with our time in between because our backup was to eat dinner but we were still going to eat dinner with her so we had 45 minutes to spare and and i remember we were driving past this road and there was a potential who who lived down that road who I had called on the phone before and, and tried to get a hold of, but it just never really worked out. She had a lot of health issues. And and so, we, you know, I drove past that, that road and I thought, well, you know, we could go see that, that woman. And, and I kind of like shrugged it off and was like, well, you know, we'll just go down to the member's house and see what's down there. And, and I kept on going and I audibly heard a voice that said, Sister Pugmire, you need to turn around, she's home. And I looked at my companion to see if, if she had heard anything and you know, my companion was brand new to the area and she was just kind of dancing and singing in the car. So I got in the turn lane and she kind of looked at me confused and, and I told her, Sister, we have to turn around, there's, there's someone who, who needs to see us. And so she just assumed that, that I knew what I was doing, but really had no idea. <laughs> and so we, we turned down this woman's road and, and there was someone on a lawnmower and my companion looked at me and she goes, is that the woman that you said we needed to see? And I looked at my companion and I was like, I hope so. I've never met her. <laughs> so we, we got out of our car and started walking towards this potential investigator I'd never met. And, um, as soon as she saw us and she saw our badges, she started to cry. And she said that that day she had been diagnosed with cancer and that along with her other many health issues she had, she felt like God forgot about her. And she said that she had been praying that the missionaries that she had talked to several months ahead would come back and see her, kind of like a sign. And she said as soon as she saw us pull up, she knew who we were. And she said that, that she knew that, that we were there for a reason. So I explained to her the experience that I had about the the feeling that I got and, and the voice that I heard and testified to her how God had not forgotten about her, but how he loves her. And I think that was a really spiritual experience for me, not only because it was um, one of the most um, distinguished impressions I had received on my mission, but because it was one of those moments where I knew how aware Heavenly Father was of his children and how much he loved all of us, how he, he puts us in places so that he can, he can bless those that we have stewardship over.